Alright guys, this is my tutorial on the 2x2x2 Rubik's Cube. A couple of notes about this tutorial are that when we come to the part where we have to learn algorithms, I'm not going to teach them like a normal Rubik's Cube teacher who will say L prime, R prime, T, clock, whatever. What I'm going to instead do is simplify it and maybe say write down or front counterclockwise instead of giving you the primes and whatnot so you don't have to learn the, rota rot the notation. If you want to learn the notation, I have a video of learning the notation on my channel and I show every single move there is and I do it using a 5x5x5 five by five by five Rubik's Cube so it will also teach you the lowercase notations. Now the first part in solving any Rubik's Cube is to mess it up. So let's do that. So you can see this is not right, this is for reals. So we've messed it up pretty well and now what you're probably thinking is he has a white Rubik's Cube and mine is black. Uh, unless you have a white one, in which case you're just like, what is he saying? Point is, the white Rubik's Cube has a black side instead of a white side, and a purple side instead of the orange side. That's the only difference. The solve is the exact same way. So the first thing you're going to do is start piecing together your black side, or white side. Now you don't have to put together the white side. You can put together a different side, but I just like to start with the white or black. You do not have to follow that, it will just make it easier if you follow this tutorial. Do not get angry with me in the comments, because it's going to make you look really dumb, because I've explained this before, I'm doing it again. Seriously, you will look dumb inside the comments. But the point is, here's a black piece, and every single piece is going to have three colors. This one is black, red, and blue. So what I want to find is a piece that has black and either red or blue. What I see I have over here is a black and red piece. So I'm going to put it over where it has to go, okay? I want that piece to come down here in place of this black piece. This is not the same. So I put it over where it has to go and bring it down. There's black, there's two red. Now if you're having trouble with this putting it over and bringing it down part, just spend hours or a couple of days not watching tutorials but just messing with the cube, trying to piece together sides left and right using human intuition versus watching a video. Because once you start setting your own patterns for how the cube moves and you figure out how this cube is built and how it moves, it will make it much easier to follow tutorials. So again, I'm going to look over here, I have a black and green. I need to find a piece that has black and green as well, see it right here. I'm going to set it up so it is over where it has to go. It has to go here. It's over here. I can't just bring it down because it will mess up what I have. So I have it over where it has to go. I move it out of the way. Bring it down. And I put it back. Now again, I have this without disrupting anything. And also this is continuing. So my last piece right here has to be black and purple. So again, I will be putting it over where it has to go. I can't just bring it down, it'll ruin what I have. So I move this side out of the way, I bring that down, and I put it back. There we go. The whole first layer is finished. So I'm going to the second layer, the yellow side for me. If you decided to start with a different size, it's going to be a different color, so just follow along. What I have is two yellow pieces, I'm going to hold those away from me. I'm going to do this algorithm. The front side clockwise. The top side Counterclockwise, right side up, top side counterclockwise, right side down, front side counterclockwise. Now it looks like we destroyed something because now we have one piece instead of two pieces, but we didn't. If you've ever seen a 3x3x3 three by three by three tutorial, you know that this is what I like to call the fish. So I'm going to hold it this way, and I'm going to move the right side up, the top side clockwise, the right side down, the top side clockwise, the right side up the top side is clockwise two times and the right side down. Now you're going to say we didn't do anything at all, it's the same piece. No, because now we have the same thing again, we have another fish. Hold it this way, right side up, top side clockwise, right side down, top side clockwise, right side up, top side clockwise twice, right side down. The whole yellow side is now complete. Now we can move on to the third and final layer. So. What I have right here is a solid side. It's not what I want to start out with for this tutorial, so bear with me for a minute. Okay, so now what I have is a bunch of these. Okay? They're, none of them are right. So I can hold whatever I want away, but the yellow has to be up, the black, has, black slash white has to be down. I move the right side down, the front side clockwise, the right side down, 
the back side twice, the right side up, the front side counterclockwise, the right side down, the back side twice, the right side twice. This gives me at least one solid side. I hold that side away and I repeat the same algorithm. I move the right side down, I move the front side clockwise, I move the right side down, I move the back side twice, I move the right side up, move the front side counterclockwise, move the right side down, move the back side twice, and move the right side twice. And there is a solve for the 2 by 2 by 2 Rubik's Cube. Mind equals blown.